And hello everybody, welcome back to the aisle. It has been a while since you guys have last checked in. And I have been through every myriad of emotion possible. I have nearly starved to death and gotten saved by a really cocky Utah Raptor. I have been threatened by a similarly sized Giga. It has been a roller coaster of emotions, but we're almost 2.85, which is where I think I become an adult gig for the most part. And I'm kind of waiting it out up here. I don't need to be out. I had to come back to Swamp. So I actually actively left Swamp at the end of the last episode. I was hanging out by a lake two lakes over where it's a lot more preferable because you can go back and forth in between and normally there's a lot of really good AI traffic in the middle and you can get a meal every time you pass through was not the case I actually barely ran into food I was starving on that side I had to rely on constantly hunting smaller dinosaurs uh, it sucked it was like the shittiest thing ever but you know what, guys? We got through it, and we're here, and I'm really excited. I feel like this is kind of a, like an event milestone for me in the mile, especially. <gasps> oh! <gasps> and we are much, 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 much bigger. Oh, wow. Wow, we look kind of scary. I hear a taco. There's a taco. Here, Taco. Those don't give me very much anymore, man. It looks like, in terms of hunting, I'm going to have to hunt real creatures. Oh. Oh, I see ya. There's a Dilo in this area somewhere, I know that much. But hey, I am now a, a big boy. Come here. Oh. Circle back around here. Oh. I also had this horrible glitch happen, so when I was starving to death, and the Utah was the only thing I could eat. I only got two bites out of the carcass, and then I had to sit down because of the bleed damage it did to me. And no shit, I got... Uh... It disappeared on me. The carcass actually disappeared on me. It was the weirdest thing, so I'm full grown. So that's like a legitimate deterrent. Because people can't fuck with that. Wow, so I mean, we're basically full size. We're getting we're a lot bigger than most things. Because I was actually, I had a broken leg and I was starving partially to death. And the only thing, and I still beat a Utah. Which makes me think that now I might be able to take on everything that's not a Rex, a Spino, or another gig. Because even Juvie gigs will probably be easy to kill with this guy. Ooh boy. Whole new realm of possibilities. Now we gotta find food. I mean, I gotta find real food. Can't play around with no... No tacos or anything like that. I gotta get real food and I gotta get big animals to do it. Wow, this has been an experience. I gotta be honest, I am. It's, it's really late at night when I'm recording this. Uh, I'm actually super tired. Um, but I like these to be 
unedited uh, pieces. So I don't like doing anything other than speeding up. Because I don't like editing these down too much. How many people are on the server? Hmm. You know what, guys? I think for the first time in a while, I'm going to make a jump cut. Because... I honestly just wanted to get to being big today. At least, you know, in terms of in an episode. And then I will resume this big guy... Oh, hello. Never mind, looks like we got a friend. He realizes we see him, right? Oh, it's a car now, though. I don't know if I can kill that. Let's do this. Oh, he's on the run. I can't smell him, it's gonna be really hard. But he's worth food. He's worth real food. Alright, let's look for him. There he is. Thanks for not following him. Let's go into these trees. There's a gig. I'm more meant to take on. Kind of bigger animals. Not really. Outrun them. Let alone a Carno. So either he's long gone. Or he's like hiding here. Yeah, let's turn this on and see close up. Hiding in here, buddy? Hello? You over here? Hello? I can't seem to find him. Well, honestly, heard a taco. I'm gonna go to the taco. This way. So, I mean, in general, yeah, guys, man, I am. Maybe I am not gonna do the jump cut. Let me check something real quick. Let me. Quick screen, go black. I'm about eight minutes in to recording this one, and you know what? I'm already dedicated, so let's just keep going. You know, I'll muscle it. I'll muscle through it. We are a fully grown gig. Right. Oh, he's right there. Wait, where'd he go? Hello, friend. Oof, those do not fill me up at all. You know what I am gonna do? I think the Karno we were following earlier went this way, and I kinda wanna hunt him down. It'd be fun to kill a Carno.
Where are you, my friend? Find his footprints, do you think? They need to find like a Serato or something, because they'll be the only things I can kill. Nothing can per se kill me, but I have to eat quite a bit. And on top of that, I also have to be real careful about not biting off too much. Is that him? Of course, that's on the rear. But as an apex, I can kind of claim territory. And I mean, I already kind of own the swamp. I definitely done the most here. I don't know why my footprints got all quiet there. That was really weird. That scent, I think I kind of lost the Carno. They are very fast. That's like their thing, though. I want to get a real meal while I'm here. See, for an Apex, it's it's rough with some things, because unlike the other map, I'm, I'm thinking about like V2, V2 map? Yeah, so, a while ago, shit, it's back when progression was a thing, not survival. Back when that was a thing. I didn't mean to hit that. My mouse has actual keys on it, and I just kind of bumped it when I was adjusting. See, I don't hear any. I guess it is nighttime. Alice oh, is a fair game. Is that a Karna? Don't matter to me. Food, food. Both are pretty much fair game.
that's what that was. It was a baby Carno. Hey, food's food. Oops. And that was more food. Daylight gets a bit... Ooh, that sounded herbivore. Ooh, I see him. Hey! Yeah, you're kinda dead. I need you to get out of the water so I can eat you properly. Can you step out of the water, please? Come on. So I can eat you outside the water. Thank you. All that carno. Ooh, but look at that. Full health, full hunger. There he is. See him right there, he's like right at the foliage. And now he's getting hunted. Because he can run, run, run far as he wants. He's too big to hide and I can always find his scent. As long as I got his scent, I will be just fine. And boy, does he have scent. Let's see, if I turn night vision on, can I see the footprints better? But even when scent goes away. Man, he booked it out of here. 
like I kind of lose him up at the top here, but hey, this is like our first real hunt. It's a big animal. The hell? Oh, no way. Let's wait till my scent cut itself off or something? That was weird. His scent should still be here, right? Oh man, I might have underestimated how fast Carnos can move. I wonder if I estimate how small the fast Philopsaurus can. I'm like a big fucking bully now, man. If you're like fucking anything in this forest, I just immediately go toward it, ready to murder it. Hey, but I fucking worked my ass off to get an apex this big. Gotta say, it is pretty worth it. Whoa, wait. Those are my friends. He's in this area. I need him to call again. This Dilo hangs around here a lot. Hello, Mr. Dilo. It will be fun. Call out. It will be great. It will be grand. Did I just see it? No. One more, one more time. Come on. That's food. Hello? Where are you? I just saw you a second ago. There it is. Dialo. He's over here. It's the only thing I can think of that would make the kill the taco so quick. It's moving in this direction, I bet. There he is. Oh, 
all that. All right, let's get some of our stamp back. Ooh, there's a baby one. Yay, double kill. Don't want to lose him. Wow, this has been fun for me. This is like a power-hungry episode. What happens when you give someone who's never had the... I kind of want to hunt the Dylos, got to be honest. See, I can actually make noise now that I'm fully grown. They're going to want to kill the taco for food. And food came. Well, you were not who I was looking for. I was looking for a Dilophosaurus. Have you seen him? A lot bigger than you, Red Crest. Can't miss him, he's kind of an asshole. Kind of like the douchebag who just killed you. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> All right. Right here. Oh, but I don't, I don't need to hunt him. I actually have... I actually have a completely full hunger, so I don't really need to to eat. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Serato actually topped me off pretty well, gotta say. Huh. Ooh. I'm a big motherfucker, I'll give myself that much. Ooh boy, this is weirdly powerful. Now I'm just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually I'll be I'll do even more Well, real quick, before I drink, screen, go black! This episode is nearly about 30 minutes. Uh, and I definitely think I've shown off what I've done. <laughs> A shitload of grinding. Alright, real quick, we'll, we'll end the episode by, by killing this or throats. Upsetting me. I 
hear you. Not the dialogues. Oh, there he is. Hopped off on hunger as a fully grown Giganotosaurus. Gotta say, not disappointed. Well, I think that's gonna kind of be it for the episode, guys. I'm gonna get up a little higher here. And uh, I'm gonna safe log. But we did it! We got to fully, well, almost fully grown. We got to an adult Giganotosaurus. And that, that's a big deal. That's a big deal for me especially. I have not made it this far with many creatures. If any creatures, I don't think actually. Other than my Serato. I would say this is probably the first one. Oh, boom! Well, as always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for support and hey! We're moving up in the world, and that is a big deal for me. So you know what, guys? As always, I will see you next time. We'll give you guys one more roar to go. Ready? All right. See you guys next time.